Four receiver look on first down. Jamar Smith, the redshirt sophomore quarterback, a very capable runner. Strut finishing off here tonight, his first full season as a starter. That's Boston Scott. Smith with a quick throw. That ball tipped. And if their third leading wide receiver, Marlon Watts, who's down for the rest of the year with an ankle injury. Plenty of time. To Smith surveys and goes exactly where he wanted to. To his lead. Want to go quick here on third and short. On the inside handoff, that's their power back, Jared Kraft. Design run off to the near sideline for Smith on the perimeter. Well, they do after a couple of broken tackles, finally do get to the perimeter. Tackles on the edge of the defense. Stretched great games to end the regular season and really got stronger as the year went on. First time this year he's come up with a big goal line stop. You may look at quarterback run. Stuff it inside for Smith on the toss for Scott, who looks to get the edge. About seven or eight on for with Scott, the running back in the slot. Here comes major pressure. Long throw with some zip on it. And it's inside the 10 yard. Smith decides to keep it. Might have been better getting. They only need two for a first down. A fastball to the outside. They've got their first down yardage, and they've got their six. It's Teddy Veal. Outside. He made something out of nothing because this is good bracket coverage. Just a quick screen, and it's a quick throw outside by Smith. But the dip inside, back outside, and terrific. The score could even be worse than 21 to 3. Here's Teddy Veal looking to throw, and he gives it up for Smith. Nicely. Second and ten off the incomplete pass. Play action, third and 11, throwing past the sticks. Teddy Veal, the target with a lot tech offense. And the first snap that they've taken on this side of the 50-yard line, their first 19 plays were all at 66 yards on offense. Trying to get the train going around the edge with some in motion to the slot. There's a flag down as Smith rolls out, lost it down the sideline, and that ball is caught. Veal in a big play for the LaTeX offense. Goes for 44 yards and gets them back to where they've been most comfortable tonight. Yeah, big play. Just one safety. This ball to the end zone, and it's caught. Teddy Veal, touch. Two lane for the Mustangs. Design run for Smith, who breaks one tackle. a game and just look at the average start position for La Tech they're going downhill this whole week trying to prepare for tonight Scott's got it he gets to stay on the field Smith's got four options. He picks single coverage into the end zone. And it's a touchdown. Smith wants sideline. Of the guy who's catching a quick slant over the middle that can run for a little distance, just like this. Well, they've got some blockers out in front of Hardy. He dances his way inside the 30 and gets steamrolled from behind. Up throws on the sideline, putting into question whether we'd see Hicks return. Smith covers it up and gets penalties. Not much of a speed bump for either team in the first half. Solid pocket, plenty of time to throw, and the pass is caught by Zach Kusai, the Reds. 
tackle made by number four, Onu. Right back to the line. He had a short gain for a first down. They got more than they needed. Going on first down and ten. No gains. Yeah. to the left side and perhaps off to the races Scott 24 yards there to get Louisiana Tech in great field position Smith and a five receiver set throws far too long collectively fewer than five catches each with one Hardy's got it forward to the 10 yard line delivered to some guys that has haven't had a lot of cheddar this year that should be a horse collar, it looked like, from behind. Weston Elliott is in at quarterback here, changing things up on this drive, and he's in to hand it off. Elliott, the soft off the corner, and here it comes. Great read as the throw goes to Hardy, eludes the first defender, and a strong tackle. That's really helped the kind of slow down the process and really work on things one by one. Well, he's put it on the good recognition and, and quick feet. He has a bright future ahead. They certainly like having Rattay in the program as a guy who played at this school. Good protection, but great execution by Jamar Smith. John, you mentioned zero, meaning the number of safeties over the <laughs> that's top. Touchdown. Well, that's what coordinator Todd Fitch told us. They have to take advantage of opportunities down the field when it presents themselves. And almost did right there. The outside. This one almost a one-hand beauty. Flag down. As we're inside of six minutes, you get weather delays <laughs> at the gate. That's right. Consistent entertainment. It's Kraft, one of the. They've been able to come away with touchdowns. That time, nothing doing it. Defend. Empty backfield for Smith to the end zone. And just too long. The coordinator here for SMU. Time to throw, Smith, capable runner, flag down. He used to the end zone incomplete, this flag like this. Third down, 23, tip ball could have been dangerous. And still showing off that strong, citing the number that they missed 120 games due to injury during the regular season. Game, and then you get an explosion here of 48 points through three quarters. Down. Good pocket and a strong throw, but the pass incomplete. But his facial expression at the time, was it pained or happy, or how did you feel like he, he was on the phone? I think he was still confused on how to process the emotions that he would watch. That's really cool that you know how special it is to him and how much it really means. And here's it's a lot slower to process because they're left behind waiting to see what's next for them. Smith off the back foot. For Butch Davis and their crew. Veal with a couple of touchdown grabs, has a first down, shakes two defenders and takes this inside the 30-yard line. Teddy Veal. Teddy Veal is not finished. There's 10, 24 and counting on the clock, and he's going to make moves on that SMU sideline. That's just a great job with the ball. Run after receptions for 118 and two touchdowns. Tipped and incomplete. Empty backfield, just a three-man rush, but a perfect play call defensively for... They played on a very short field tonight, that defense. They nearly got to Smith a couple of times before he 